The video simply begins with some shitty meta joke about staring at your computer in some kind of small locked off room in what I guess is a shitty apartment in a shitty part of a shitty town. Just load up from there, on Vegas. Then you're off and after taking various pieces of crap together and as you damn well expect, there's not gonna be any sense. It would be like someone going through every frame in a film like Citizen Kane or Casablanca and replacing dialogue with distorted screaming. You've got people creating some legitimately great content on the internet. And then you get by TP, developed by 20 year olds buggering around with dialogue and changing the context of what you say every 5 seconds. Is it worth watching though? Well, sheesh. I'm not sure if I'd outright condemn it. I mean, it is free and all that, and all you're gonna really lose from playing it is your time. And I'd say you'd probably know within 15 seconds if you're gonna wanna spend any more time playing. Well, let's find out, shall we? Fuck me. Where the hell is the funnies? As you'd expect, nothing really makes any kind of sense. It's just this kaleidoscope of weird and wacky shit. The kind that makes me want to fall asleep in a bottle of paracetamol. Right off the bat, there's not really any story as far as I could tell. There's just a series of horrible distorted buzzing sounds used to simulate the workings of the computer system, which are plentiful and noticeable from the get-go, and it is absolutely migraine-inducing. Well, now you've got it. It is. Congrats. Super. Irritating. I'm not joking, you'll be hearing this buzzing sound countless times, and this sounds like someone grinding sandpaper through the inside of my skull. Humor, on the other hand, is lifeless. With buzzing sounds being one of the four jokes you're ultimately forced to choose from when push comes to shove, along with cheap dark and sex jokes, and just being as absurd as possible, as well as references. Also on the technical side of things, some of the effects in this video look really good, especially the particle effects. After playing it, I couldn't possibly imagine ever going back to watching the original version. It's like going from Blu-ray back to VHS. Again, it's the kind of stuff that 13-year-olds playing Gary's mod are gonna find hilarious, but everyone else will probably think it's a bit stupid. I keep getting asked the same question over and over. <laughs> I guess that got a genuine laugh out of me, but it has very little depth or lasting power, and its reputation is solely based on the subjectively funny content it has on offer. Is it for everyone? Well, that's an easy question. No, it's not. It's a downright batshit insane creation. But despite this, there's often just enough little distractions on the side to keep you hooked. So if you're able to switch off your brain and don't mind our total abundance of juvenile and really chaotic humor and the almost constant references to dated internet memes, I'd say it's worth checking out. Yes, the irony was not lost on me.